A controversial piece of legislation is one step closer to becoming law. An Indiana House committee passed a religious freedom bill. It would give business owners in Indiana the right to refuse to provide services for same-sex weddings. News 10's Lindsay Yates has more on the measure and local reaction. In June of last year, history was made as Donica and Nicole became the first same-sex couple in Vigo County to say I do. It's a moment life cycle celebrant Marta Adubato remembers well. I was really thrilled. In fact, I had married two couples in the state of Illinois and got calls from both of them that day, and we went to the park and we made it legal in the state of Indiana. She spent the past 10 years officiating weddings, including same-sex. I've done about 20 of them. But Marta fears the religious freedom bill is a step in the wrong direction for equal rights. Discrimination on any level is just, it's a step backwards. It's, it's more than one step, it's two to ten steps backwards. Senate Bill 101 would create legal protections for business owners with strong religious beliefs, giving Hoosiers the right to deny services for same-sex wedding ceremonies. We in the state of Indiana um, are becoming clo more closed-minded, and uh, I think love is love. But supporters say the bill is needed to protect those with strong religious beliefs, while opponents argue the measure sets a scary precedent. It scares me that it's going to affect um, not only um, bakeries and, and uh, things like that, but possibly health care. I'd hate to see someone, you know, be in a hospital and refuse treatment. But Marta refuses to discriminate because, like the name of her business, she believes every couple has a story waiting to be told. It doesn't matter what their religion is, the color of their skin, um, doesn't matter if they're tall or they're short, you know, skinny or fat, everyone has rights. In Clinton, with photojournalist Cody Murphy, Lindsay Yates, News 10. The measure now moves to the House floor. Lawmakers will have an opportunity to propose amendments. That could happen as early as this week. 